Now students, how to prepare cash flow statements in case certain adjustments are given. Like in this question, you are given balance sheets which include goodwill, building, plant, debtors, stock and cash as assets. And on liability side, we have equity share capital. We have general reserve in this question. Remember, general reserve is an appropriation. We have profit and loss account and creditors. Plus additional information is given that depreciation charged on plant is rupees 10,000 and building rupees 60,000. Now students, since additional information is given, we will prepare working notes first. So we will prepare plant account and building account in working notes. Remember, these are part of working notes. That is why I have prepared T-shaped accounts. So plant account has a balance of 40,000. That is opening balance, balance brought down. 40,000 and buy balance carried down 1 lakh that is the closing balance since plant is an asset therefore debit balance for the opening and obviously closing will appear on the other side now the depreciation charge on plant is 10,000 Whenever we charge depreciation, entry would be depreciation to plant. So it appears on the credit side by depreciation amount is 10,000. So the total comes to 1 lakh 10,000. Out of this 1 lakh 10,000, we will deduct 40,000 and we get to bank account purchase which is 70,000 remember this purchase is balancing figure and students this represents outflow on account of purchase now, coming to the second account that is building account. Again, the very same concept building is an asset. It has an opening balance of 80,000 and closing balance of 60,000. So, we will write two balance brought down 80,000 as opening balance by balance carried down that is closing balance of 60,000. During the year, depreciation of Rs. 60,000 has been charged. So the entry would be depreciation to building. So on the credit side of building account, we will write by depreciation 60,000. That is 1 lakh 20,000 total. Out of this 120, we will deduct 80,000 and we will get balancing figure as purchase of machinery during the year. So, we will write it as to bank, this is purchase of machinery, which is a balancing figure, 1,20,000 minus 80, which comes to 40,000. So, now students, in this case, when we have prepared these two accounts, plant account shows an outflow of 70,000 on account of purchase of new plant and the building account shows an outflow of 40,000 on account of purchase of new building. They will appear in investing activities whereas this depreciation of 10,000 from plant account and 60,000 from building account would be taken as non-operating non-cash item while calculating cash flow from operating activities. Starting with cash flow statement now, the first activity is operating activity. Now students, profit and loss account shows a balance of 15,000 for the previous year and for current year we have a balance of 24,000. That means profit earned during the year is 9,000. That is the difference of these two figures. It is 9,000. To this 9,000 we will add all appropriations. In this case, we have general reserve which has increased by 15,000. That means fresh appropriations have been made 
or fresh reserve has been created to the extent of 15,000. So, add transfer to reserves or general reserve which is 15,000. Besides this, there is no other appropriation. So, we will get a total of 24,000 which represents net profit before tax and extraordinary items. So, this is net profit before tax and extraordinary items. Now students, to this value we will adjust non-operating and non-cash items. Now students, non-operating non-cash items as given in this question are goodwill that has been written off to the extent of 16,000. So, add goodwill written off and the amount is 16,000. Besides this, we have depreciation on plant and building. So, that there will be also added depreciation on plant which is 10,000 and depreciation on building which is 60,000. Now, their sum total comes to rupees 40,000, 50, 1,10,000. This 1,10,000 represents net profit before tax and changes in working capital. This is net profit before tax and changes in working capital. To this amount, changes in working capital now would be made that is the changes in the values of current assets and current liabilities would now be accounted for. Continuing with changes in working capital, we will create two columns for items to be added and to be deducted. Debtors, debtors are current assets and their value is increasing. It has increased by 35,000 500 rupees. Now, increase in value of current asset should be deducted. So, we will write in the less column as increase in value of debtors which is 35,500. Then we have stock. The value of stock has increased by 5000 rupees. So, increase in value of stock which is 5000. Again, since it is a current asset and the current asset is increasing, the value or the increase has to be shown as a deduction. Then we have cash. Remember, cash is actually a cash equivalent hence it would not be shown here. Coming on to the liability side. Liability side we only have one current liability that is creditors and the value of creditors is increasing. So, whenever there is an increase in the value of current liability it has to be added. Increase in creditors that is by 12,000 rupees. Totaling them out, we will get 81,500 as the answer. We will mark this figure as A and this represents cash inflow from operating activities.
Now we come to investing activity. Investing activities involve inflow and outflow of cash on account of purchase or sale of long term assets. So investing activities involves purchase or sale of long term asset. Now students, in this case, it is only building and plant which can be categorized as long term assets and we have prepared their accounts in the working notes. So let us move to building account first. In building account, there was no sale, there was a purchase which we had calculated as a balancing figure and that purchase was equal to 40,000. Similarly, in plant also there was no sale we had a purchase which we had calculated as a balancing figure on the debit side to the extent of 70,000. So we can say that there is no inflow of funds on account of investing activities. Then outflow has two different items that is purchase of plant which was when we calculated equal to 70,000 and purchase of building which was equal to 40,000. Students remember in case we have prepared accounts for any particular values or items. It is then the accounts that are used to calculate the figures. These figures would not be considered anymore. It is through accounts that we have derived these figures. So on totaling them we can find that there is an outflow of 1 lakh 10,000. I will put it in bracket as it represents outflow. This will be cash outflow from investing activities once we have calculated this we will now move on to financing activities financing activity financing activity involves inflow and outflow of funds on account of long term sources and applications it includes shareholders funds and long term borrowings so financing activities as given in this question are only issue of shares. Equity share capital which was 2,25,000 in the previous year is now valued at 2,50,000. That means 25,000 worth of shares have been issued in this year. So it is an inflow. We will put it as issue of equity share to the extent of 25,000. I will put it in details column. Since there is no outflow, so this would now be represented as value C that is cash inflow from financing activities. Now students, we have all the three values that is A, B and C. A represents inflow on account of operating activity. B represents an outflow on account of investing activity. And C represents an inflow on account of financing activity. So let us calculate cash or net cash inflow or outflow, I will put it in brackets because if it is negative then it is outflow during the year which would be A minus B plus C minus because B figure itself is negative. A is 81,500 that is from operating activity, B was 1,10,000 outflow so negative and C is 25,000 positive as it is an inflow. The total of this comes to 3500 negative.
So, in bracket means it is an outflow during the year. Now, to this value we will have to adjust the value of cash equivalents during the year. Let us see how that will be done. Once we have arrived at net cash inflow or outflow during the year, now we will add opening cash equivalents. Opening cash equivalents. Now students, opening cash equivalents as given in this question are 12,500. Remember there is no bank, so only cash value would be considered. So, opening cash equivalents are 12,500. Adjusting this value, we will get a value of 9,000, which is represented by our closing cash equivalent. So, that makes it correct that after adjusting the inflow and outflow during the year to opening cash equivalents, we arrive at the figure of closing cash equivalents, which is 9,000 in both the cases. So, we have closing cash equivalents as 9000.